How is it going? So we're about to see how it resistance is an ultimate. This is going to be interesting. It's actually not that bad at all. So we need fire and lightning, which is this guy. Let's put one into the helm. Um, we need some fat peers, it looks like, right? I have some, like, pierce and poison, but I, I think I would much rather just not put anything. Maybe just put the fire and lightning once again. Chest as well. You have, like, aether resistance over there. I, I feel like this is playable. I actually think this is playable, and, and it doesn't look too bad. Or starting Act 1 in Ultimate, like, we should be fine like that. Don't forget to use your experience potion. And off we go, man. Let's see how this goes. Kind of curious how our damage is going to be as well, obviously. Kind of forgot about like cleaning my bags for the third time or something. I'm gonna do it right away. Right here. Oh, we are actually listening to Divinity Original Sin, by the way. First one. That there, we can put there. Eat those two. Hmm. We can actually put these like that as well. Sure, sure. Looks good to me. Not like I'm gonna need those. I don't think so, at least. Six definitely. Let's play. Honestly, that DPS is fine. Let's go from the other side. This side is blocked. I actually do prefer this side being open anyways, because then you get to do this quest on the way. Right, cool. Eating both of them. Not eating their bottom one. What kind of build did you farm the Loki set on Hardcore? My first character, the Shield Breaker. Aegis Fire Shield Breaker. It wasn't the easiest fight, but it was doable. Yeah. 
You actually gave me a tainted brain matter. Too good. Not the EOR, no. The EOR shield breaker is in fact my second keg. Was, that was already theory crafted around the items. The first one, the, the normal shield breaker, was just for the Aegis. And uh, the build gets activated by a shield that drops from Ashes of Malmoth. It converts the entire damage of the shield throw into fire. Yeah. Like, you know how this build is working around bone spikes? That build was working around shield. It's usually better to, like, have build enablers, like MIs, and you're going for, like, first characters. Like, for instance, my Spellbreaker opener is going for, like, the uh, chosen Cold Converter Mace, right? The Bludgeon, Spectral Bludgeon, or whatever. It just makes things a lot easier to, to make the character that way. Turn. Yeah, it's an MI. Ah, oh, this pack. I can already say, like, this character is uh, amazing, honestly. Very tanky, too. We don't necessarily have, like, good components or good stats yet. Just imagine when we have that. Just for the experience alone, I do want to find the Slith necklaces, guys. So I'll try and like pay attention to killing every single Slith out there. Definitely. Do you already find some nice legendaries for later characters, or for that one even? I'm not really sure which which one you're talking about. But yeah, my, my Spellbreaker and then my Shieldbreaker, the Aegis one, were like my openers. And with those I found like legendaries. From that moment, like every single character that I opened was like full legendary. I farmed quite a bit with, especially the Shieldbreaker. Aegis throw Shieldbreaker. He was nemesis with everything. And then I died to, at the end, like, obviously, like, optimized them more, started using, like, virtue set and stuff, and I managed to, like, put it together. But then I ended up dying to Alexander, yeah. Not only a misplay, but at the same time, he hits out of his mind. He hits me for 18,000, more than 18,000. It's insane. And I'm gonna go fight the Devotion Shrine, and in the meantime, like, we'll try and find some Slith here. That'd be nice. A one so far. Two. Three necklaces. I definitely turned that question now. The grasp of untrained minds. So one thing that we have not talked about is, uh, or maybe we have, and I forgot about it, is the one-shot chess. We are going to be now that we are in ultimate. We are going to be saving the one-shot chests that we find 
until I'm like level 90 or something so that I can open them when they're actually capable of dropping level 94 legends right now some places right now even right now when I'm level 84 should be able to drop me level but not all of them because it depends on the maps level and as I level up the map scales with me so in some way it is according to my level of Most of the monsters in this game, they will try to like stay a little bit ahead of you. That is how the content is being decided. So in like Steps of Torment, for instance, they will try and stay really far ahead of you. So maybe Steps of Torment one-shot chest would even give me a, you know, level 94 at this point. But for instance, the one-shot chest next to Warden, I don't necessarily think he's going to give me a... So let's just open it when we are 90. 90 92, maybe. Something like that. Put it like we are making sure that we are getting the best item. But before ultimate, like, I wouldn't worry about this at all. Frozen Heart. CT and Juggernaut. Alright. It feels interesting to start getting, like, really good legendaries. After all that grind of 18 hours, now we're getting some relevant stuff. That's how I feel. Oh, quit. No, they, they definitely have the chance to give 84 as well, Ozil. It's not like 100%, but they will at least have the capability of giving you 90 as well. Sometimes they will just give you a blue item, epic. Like, it's <laughs> kind of RNG. 50% of the time you end up getting a blue item, you end up getting a blue item anyway. At least do you, do, like, you do your part, you know? <laughs> Another tip about the one-shot chests is that, like, don't open the ones that you see. And then afterwards, to get all of the ones that you're missing, um, again, you can use the checklist. In it's amazing. You can need to, like, load your character, save up to it in the checklist for the one-shots, and it will literally tell you which ones you're missing. And you can just, like, go pick them up. It is what we're gonna do on this guy, actually. Like, I could probably remember, like, 90% of them from the back of my mind but it's just gonna take me longer like why wouldn't I You obviously don't need to do this game, by the way, like, you could just repair the bridge if you want to. Just wanted to grab the Devotion Shrine. Walking into it. Not good. I have 0% stun resistance. Gotta do something about that. Sometime. Uh, Bloody Pox when I think I'm gonna go for Bloody Pox when we actually have the full set. Before that, this character doesn't necessarily need the Bloody Pox. I don't think so, at least. weird pack.
It goes good, by the way, Samus. How about you? What you been up to today? Did you farm new bone spice after the first one? Yeah. I farmed, I think I've done like two or three runs of Mountain Deeps is the place, right? Where it quick spawns. Two or three runs of like both normal and elite. But I've never like turned back, let's say, in normal difficulty later on or something like that. You know what I mean? So. Just did it like when I reached there. And I'm gonna do the same like when I reach there uh, in this difficulty as well. Try and get like level 94 versions, yeah. Then he's saying, I hate the bone spikes, I cannot get the acid prefix stuff. Yeah, Vitet is a little bit easier to get it, unfortunately. Um then or fortunately for me. <laughs> I'm playing the white city version so I would like I would like to have the acid on it as well but if I have a crazy white city I'm just going to be good with it because like, we are not going to be co completely converting even if we are converting a little bit uh, from acid to vitality so therefore like our revenue earth will be dealing some acid damage as well and some of the items that we are going for are in fact supporting the acid side of things. So it's definitely like giving us more DPS if we could keep on supporting. But I'm never going to be like, you know, cutting from the Vitality at all. So Vitality will be like the main support that we will try. Ember Guard. This thing. Those are pretty important by the way, guys. Uh, there are some pens that I'm trying to find also. Maybe I already found them, I'm not sure. Might actually end up like uh, crafting pens, boots, maybe gloves, but we might also like end up farming some green versions as well. Yeah, you use the leaf main horn, right? True, 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 true. That converts to complete acid. I mean, you could do that like on a character like mine too. Honestly, there's no reason not to. But obviously, like, a lot of stuff are going to be changing. Like, from itemization to components to devotions, but it would be strong. The only and the only, like, massive downside that I can think of right now before, like, theory crafting it at all is the fact that Necromancer doesn't necessarily, bon like, give bonuses minus resistances to acid and it's literally the only thing that I can come up with. So in my version, even though I'm failing to convert like the entire thing, uh, I'm gonna have more minus resistance and it's kind of like a brainless way to put it because like cursing every enemy is extremely easy, it's like a massive cast uh, and, and, and the other minus resistance is just around me, it's an aura, so very easy to like apply that. That's the only thing that I can think of. It's going to be kind of the downside of Acid versus the one that I'm playing. But then again, yeah, you will be converting like the full damage into it. So maybe it's head to head. Not really sure. Hard to tell. I kind of wish that we had something like Path of Building in Grimdawn as well. So that like I can actually talk with facts, right? I cannot do such a thing, so not capable of such a thing. 
This was uh, drastically easy. I don't really know why, though. Sometimes this Devotion Shrine is very sweaty, actually. It spawns like wisps and stuff. Illuminary Helm. Level 94. Interesting. It's going good, Fly. How's it going with you, bro? Welcome. Nice to see you. Festerless. Tainted brain matter. Game is definitely treating me so far in ultimate difficulty. The streamer benef uh, benefits are definitely unlocked at this point. For sure. Excuse me, zombie. Has this run been zero death so far? Yeah. Show. There. I don't necessarily think, unless like I do something very weird, I don't necessarily think I would die while leveling in most of the characters that I make. So, it would be possible versus something like Harder Kaiman or Korvac in Elite. If I'm playing with like still low car sets, something like that, like it, it might be possible, yeah, because I've I've gotten close to dying to Korvac, for instance, with low car sets in, in. I think it was Elite. Gotten close, sure. It was definitely Elite because uh, we don't even play the normal. So this layout is pretty annoying right now, guys. Yeah, not gonna lie. Otherwise, uh, yeah. No, I, I, I don't have Lokar on this. Then we're, we are making a complete new playthrough. Like, I don't, I didn't have the experience potions either. We grinded for them. Simulating an entire fresh start. That's the point of this character, yeah? It's going good, Sarajan. How about you, man? Welcome, bro. That's alright. Eighty-five class to drop. I could kill these. I wouldn't mind. Two K offensive ability, not the highest. Still should have a little bit of crit chance though. It actually has quite a bit in Act 1 at least. Turns out. Maybe it's because like they're not necessarily you know level 100 yet. Probably that. Because yeah, our offensive ability or the defensive ability not necessarily that high. Or ultimate ability.
What are you doing at the gate, man? Come on. Any tips on making the skitties tankier? Um, check the second tab, the resistances of the skeletons. Try your best to get the resistances maxed out. That's the first thing. And the second thing is obviously like armor, defense ability, HP when it comes to like the pets. So, I would say resistances first. Afterwards, like you gotta also consider the fact that like skeletons are there to die um, when you compare it to like other some. Something like a stinky potato, light fiend, right? Like light fiend is possible for you to make your light fiend to like survive almost against everything. But skeletons, they, you know, they, they might be dying. Yeah. Also consider like getting some regenera somehow, improving their regeneration definitely. Zamprin. But yeah, when, when you're starting, especially like AOM or something, unless you have been paying a lot of attention to like their survival, they do start dying. It's hard to like tap these things out that I said while also leveling because you're changing a lot of things all the time. Why won't you die? No, stay on top of them, god dang it. <laughs> Our stun resistance are so bad. Mythical rune armor of Ignifar. Is this the second time? We are not going to be opening that chest until I'm like level 90 or something. This is a good spot to farm, anyways. I'll be here multiple times over. It's fine. You're gonna do like a Barnabas Cave, I suppose. Took me about like 25 minutes to like complete this run so far. They're actually giving crazy amounts of experience, it's funny. Eight to six. And I have almost nothing else to go. I think I'm gonna give the Curse of Fairy to max out. Let's make the stuff move slowest. That. I like the Curse of Fairy to max out, even, even if I don't necessarily go for, um... The movement speed is just too good. Movement speed reduction. The enemies. So we will try and like sit at, at the very least eight or something. There's a frailty, but we'll see. We'll see. Obviously, like I'm going to be starving in points when it comes to like putting bl bloody pox in there. So.
frozen hearts. That's going to be act one, you guys. Pretty easy to play. Um, hopefully, we're gonna find like an upgrade or so. I'd like to have my PS assistance a little bit higher, but I have some surprise for you. The fact that like we're getting revealed with the Devil's Crossing, I'm hoping we are. Um, maybe not with these series of quests, but with killing the Cromley, I should be able to get it. And that's gonna give me fat PS assistance, so I'm gonna fix things. It's actually 375 reputation with the crop. In level 87. Let's go for more HP. I actually have 14,000 HP. It's quite impressive if you ask me. They're not. Get the shield straight, guys. Not bad at all. It's funny. Um, HP by TTDK, cunning. No resistances, though. I'll keep mine for now. Sell the weapons. Aether resistance with vitality, physique, energy regeneration. You could still do better than this, honestly. So what did I sell? Wow, oh, okay. Dwarfsmith, two months. How's it going, Dwarfs? Thank you very much for that, dude. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for your continued support. I think we put these into the bank, you guys, honestly. Look at this ring. The Viloth. This is an MI of Viloth. With like acid, poison, HP, offensive ability, pierce, and elemental resistances. It is overall a very, very good ring. I'm gonna sell it because I don't think I need that. But if this was hardcore, I would have kept it, I think. It's a good roll. No movement speed. Black Watch Seal. It's not bad at all. I would have kept something like this also. It's a mythical item. It was, um, yeah, like, I I'm guessing I'm gonna end up, like, deleting so many items like this that I would have otherwise kept in the bank because it's not useful for this guy, but it's, you know, the best of its kind for another character, for sure. Do I really have two of you? Oh, that's a shame. Such a shame. Shame. New acts. So 
so this was about like 30 minutes okay 34 or something like that Duke is there saying hey what what do you think about this devotion setup for the Cavaliers I cannot look at it right sorry Here's damage hurts. 57%, huh? If you feel really threatened, we could take away Chains of Oleron and put a 6 watch in there. It's gonna help me a big time. Definitely. If I wanted to. What do you think is the most powerful devotion regardless of the build? Well, when you put it that way, like, it's hard to say something offensive. I could tell you, like, some valuable ones. Like, I've been really, really digging the uh, Behemoth lately. If you're going for a two-hander, Kraken is absolute beast. If you're going for, like, Pierce or Elemental, any Elemental damage at all. Oh, it's Harp is, in my opinion, one of the most valuable ones. I've been really digging the Hyrian. But if you really, really want, like, the most powerful elemental stone for any elemental build, it's very good. Extremely powerful. Two-handers, Kraken, probably it's the best, of course. But, like, when it comes to some sort of, like, a... I'm gonna do that cave later on, not? Because there's a one-shot chest in there as well, and we could do the Devotion Shrine with just later on when I'm actually ready to... That would be a nice idea. But even though I dropped a portal, we want to go back there. Um, yeah, so if you like, like the minus resistance that you take is usually like the best part about it. You know what I mean? So when like just the general idea, when you open your devotions, what are the musts to pick? It kind of changes for like every single damage type. Uh, goes through like some sort of like an if statement, if you would like say you're fire then check out like what is reducing the resistance of fire if you're a two-hander add you know crack into it if you want some sustain add like we would soul the chariots and the behemoth into it and then you're golden you know what i mean like those are very good stuff if you're attacking with a weapon at any point or wouldn't bother attacking with a weapon every now and then viper is a good addition as well into the elements sure I could talk about devotions for a really long time. I don't necessarily know like which one would be the most powerful. I have no idea. Taking too much damage from the yes, guys. I think I can play around it, but After reaching the waypoints, I think I'm going to put a 6 rush on my chest. No need to be uh, stubborn about this. So that, like, it's a little bit easier to play. Until we are revered with the Devil's Crossing. Then we can switch back again, I suppose. Should be okay. The Watchtower is pretty valuable as well, yes. This thing. Solo and Watcher. Definitely. Because even though it's like a tier 2 and it's pretty valuable in every single node... It also gives you good de good affinity bonus. That's pretty rare in this game. Same can be said for like the Behemoth. But the washover is on top of everything. Wow, this drop down. Life giving sickness of seven percent. It has a low HP roll though. Yeah, it doesn't do do that good for me. That's a very good item though. Um, I'm gonna say the same thing as I said on like Elite when it comes to like turning this quest in. Since this is the first character, and if it is your first character, you're missing the level 50 version of the Cyrillic, you should lie to him. Then, you know, you never need to lie to him again. In any character that's great, because you will have them in the bank. The best part about this is that like the, the, the Relic reward right now is going to be like level 50. 
even though we are 87, and you'll be able to use it at level 50 with your new character. And trust me when I say this, at level 50 if you equip that relic, it's crazy how much DPS bonus it's giving to you. The active of the relic of the skill that doesn't work for pets, but if you're dealing the damage yourself, yeah, it would be massive at level. It will carry you for like 10 to 15 levels, just that alone. Another thing, especially YouTube, if you're playing this character right now, and if you don't necessarily want to progress all the time, you know, if, like now, now is a good time to like start farming. You know what I mean? Since we are an ultimate, we are finally having the maximum chance of like dropping items and whatnot. Yeah, this is a like and fail with their rocks. Uh, there's a video on my YouTube channel called like where to farm easy spots check that out it will only require you to like progress to prospectus trail that is almost nothing it's like maybe 30 minutes away from where all right and then you'll be able to like have a very good farming rotation which is gonna give you a lot of legendary you know? Yeah, in most of my builds, I have this a lot more as well, so. That's true. Got to mention that. It's a good one, I. I'll say so. Let's turn in some quests now. We're getting some, like, very high experience. I really, really like it. Look at that. How many points can I have into that aura, by the way? 12? Do I need to speed the Barnabas or something? No, I just need to kill Kron. So I'm gonna, like, as I said, I'm gonna tell the truth here because there's no point for me to have the relic. Not like I'm gonna make any character, no. but if this is your first time, lie to him as well. Now revered with her always as well. It's nice. Just in time too, like I just made it to the Oh two masters, funny. Salma. We don't need the poison at all. It is cold. Doesn't sound too bad, actually. Buy a couple of pierce cold. Where do I put it to? Everything is packed, isn't it? That yeah, is. Sad face. This one's like for rings. We're using 25, 25, 3 percent, and this is like 34 percent retail. It's kind of weird. Whatever, it's okay. We'll get something better later. At level 90, I think we're getting something very much better. In fact. Something like this I would definitely keep as well. The Shadow Spark could supporting a ridiculous amount some of the combinations out there. Guys, we're actually like really close to farming the new bone spikes. It's hyping me up, man. We have a chance of like getting our bis items from there. <laughs> Alright, let's do this.
What are these drops, you guys? <laughs> I'm so sorry, YouTube. Mythical Mark of Divinity, man. Get it. Builder is saying successfully reverted from... Oh, you reverses your version so that like... Journals still works, I see. Nice. Feel free to give a link to how to do that. Maybe someone is curious. Tell like if it was... Big trouble or not? So. Iceberg is saying YouTube is a great example to see how the RNG works. That is unfortunately true. There's a link in the topic itself, and it was not difficult. All right. This guy, Mr. Boomer. Iceberg is saying, and this is just a lie, of course, but the best way to get the death mark set is to level a summoner. Why are you so tanky? It's the money banks. Oh, wait, there's a tank, man. Still looking the dual bone spikes? Yeah, I am. Troll Heart Waste Guard. Not too bad. You? Is there any build that is using a rifle in Grim Dawn? Yeah, there are some Primal Strike builds out there for sure. I have a conjurer in my spreadsheet. All you need to do is write exclamation build in my chats, pick the spreadsheet link, all my builds thingy, and then from there. On the bottom, you click the Forgotten Gods. Over there, you will be seeing like all my Forgotten Gods builds. My counter is a rifle, final strike build. It's strong too.
Pam, pam. How are we doing with the Devil's Crossing, I wonder? Missing about 3,000. Kinda wondering if this quest is going to be giving me that much. Let's hope so. Killing Cromney is like a massive deal for them. But at the same time, 3,000 is a big number. Oh, bloody the Jack is a little bit sweaty, you guys. You gotta check your poison resistance here. I got pretty much like shotgun by the three projectile attack she does at the start. That's why we took so much damage at the start like that. Let's find her. This might actually take a while to kill this guy. We'll see. So I'll slowly like kite him away. It's actually not too bad. It's funny. Thought it, it would have been a little bit. Tank up one more time. Watch for now. The unyielding of corrosion. Stronghold revolver. Level 94. We could actually open this now. Divinity 94 as well. That being said, from this moment, I don't necessarily think that like we need to think twice about opening. Watch a chest see there. Should be. Okay. Isn't that like our first set item, by the way? Snow, we're listening to um Divinity Original Sin OST right now. It's quite a T ending, I think. That answers you as well, Joseph. <sighs> yeah, it was. Protoss answered you, I think. The spell needs to be able to use the weapon damage to be able to, like, use the... Uh, Flat values as well, like that. I'm gonna do the beehive here, guys. An embrace. No worries, dude. How are you getting your Grim Internals to work? I thought the update made it unavailable. I didn't update my game yet. My Steam is offline.
Back to Shao's. No laser injuries for me from this one. Oh well. The Dire Wolf Crest is a very good drop as well. Honestly, this character so far is pretty lucky. Blue item rep, yeah. What do we have here? Let's see. More HP. I'm almost like 15,000 now. Quite crazy. Wondering if they are hitting. Revealed with them now. Oh, turning this in. Not even close. I'm I'm going to be missing about like one thousand in fact. It was crushing is pain and suffering to complete a first playthrough. Especially like if you consider the fact that like we have actually done this like three times. <laughs> that was nice crony ring as well. Wasn't too bad. Ethan Mithir, yeah. I know it, bro. Some it says shoulders here. Mine is pretty bad with like shoulders. It's funny how bad my poison is. I'm going to pass on this one as well, but we do need some new shoulders. That was an upgrade, but it's going to cause some issues with the poison resistance right now. Don't want to deal with it. Not right now, at least. We still do have the experience potion running, right? Okay. Almost 90. We could actually hit the side place over here just for once. I like to do this like at the very least once for every character. Um, Open this area. Maybe this is going to also give me level 90. Long shot, but never know. A couple of chests here. This is the only reason. To get my level 90 as well. YouTube, when I'm 90, this is in fact going to be the ending of this part. On the new one. I know this was a short one, but in the new one, we are actually going to be farming quite a bit. We'll hit the one-shot chest that we have skipped, especially in like Axe 1. And at the start of Act 2, I think I have skipped some as well. And more importantly, we are going to be farming some bone spikes. Hopefully something ridiculous. Um, if I have to guess, I'm going to need to be like level 94 or something to like keep or like, you know, have a very good bone spike in my hands. But yeah, it, it might actually take a while to like get some good bone spikes for this character. Definitely, it might actually take a while up to like three hours or something, but it's going to be worth it. Because this, at the end of the day, that's going to be like the weapon that we're going to use for the long run, so. We need at the very least one that is crazy good. Peace out, bros. See you on the next one.
Stream, what is the start, man? Look at the start. Mythical Life Giver. Dire Wolf Crest. Mark of Divinity. Uh, it, it is just like <laughs> yelling to open a new character. It's so weird. Crossing is missing like 900. 